Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Aminata. I am a family nurse practitioner. And on this channel, you see some videos about nursing and mental health, as that's one of my passions. You also see some videos about my journey to financial freedom, as I am working on paying off my student loans. And you also see some videos on hair tutorials and just lifestyle in general. If that's something that you are interested in, please make sure you click that subscribe button, click that notification bell below, make sure you get notified every time i post a new video if you're a returning viewer thank you so much for coming back i appreciate your time and your support so in today's video we're going to be talking about what are some things that you really need to think about if you want to go into nursing and some of these things i kind of knew about a little bit some of them i was totally not prepared for when i went into nursing so and if you're already a nursing student and you just kind of in the beginning watch this video this might be very helpful for you because then maybe you might take a step back and say hmm Maybe I need to switch course because this might not be the thing for me and that's totally fine. You just got to figure out what is for you and what works for you. The first thing is you need to have a conversation with yourself or with a family member or someone, a friend, okay? And that is pretty much, you need to know who you are as a person, your personality traits. What are some things that are a deal breaker for you? What are things that you're willing to compromise so for example, if you're thinking about a nurse, some things that are usually associated with nursing is that you are kind, you have a humble heart, you love caring for others, you care for others without anything in return, without expecting anything in return. Um, and if those are some personality traits that you have, you most likely would do really well with nursing. And other things that you really want to look out for is, for example, if you are one of those people that really don't mind and people seem to find comfort in talking to you about situations. Are you somewhat of a people's person? You don't have to be talking to everybody, um, but at least be able to have that personality where you can talk to people on a day-to-day -day basis. Because when it comes to nursing, it's not just you taking care of your patients. There's your patient and there is your patient family members. And then you have the healthcare team it's going to be in communication with you. So you're going to be that middle person to communicate between the patients and the family and then the, the doctors and, and, and other healthcare team members. So you need to be able to at least have some tolerance for people. So those are some things that you really want to take think about if you want to go into nursing. And if you're one of those people that you really don't care so much about having conversations with people because you're more you you keep to yourself most of the time or you're a little bit irritable a lot of the times maybe nursing might not be for you and that's okay you just need to figure out what works for you and there's so many career fields and different jobs that would work perfectly for you but so that way at least you know which route to take so that's the most important thing is know who you are as a person and have conversations with your family members or friends and say guys i've been thinking about going into nursing what do you think you think i would do good with this and a lot of the time they'll be honest with you and say girl you will not do you will be terrible you'll be a terrible nurse and let them tell you why maybe there are some things that you can probably work on that's not totally a deal breaker for example if you're not a people's person some people is just take practice some people is because they're anxious or they're nervous when talking to people they get in their head so that way they just tend to withdraw from people so that's something that you can fix honestly so make sure you ask them and even when you're talking to yourself trying to figure out are these things that i'm able to change or are these things that I'm absolutely not able to change? And if that's the case, then if it doesn't align with some of the characteristics of what are nurses, then just find a different route. And that's totally okay. And then the next thing is that if you're going into nursing and you have the mindset that this is going to be a piece of cake, <laughs> you are really setting yourself up for failure. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a nurse. Um, nursing, it's really, really hard. It is absolutely doable. But it's very, very hard. So if you're going into it with the mindset of, or oh, it's going to be easy because I already have a bachelor's in this field or that field and nursing is going to be easy or everyone is a nurse. So it's going to be super easy. Guys, you're setting yourself up because it is it is not easy. It is doable. So you want to go into the mindset of this is going to be difficult. So that way you prepare yourself to do whatever is it that it takes for you to be successful. And you are most likely going to have high success when you are having that mindset and again guys please do not go i get it every a lot of people go into go to school and then go into these career paths because you want to make money 
and schooling is not cheap so you don't want to like spend all that money for school and then you are not making money while you're in school most of the time for you to graduate and to realize that oh i'm not going to make money so a lot of people if you're going to school or you choose you, you decide to work at a job it's because you want to make money but please make sure that's not the main reason why you're going into nursing because if it is you are going to be miserable when i tell you because they they will not pay you enough for the type of job that you're gonna be doing as a nurse. So make sure you have a passion for it. You make sure that's something that you really truly wanna do. And don't go into nursing just for the money. And then the last tip that I wanna talk to you about that comes with in three parts, okay? <laughs> Is make sure when you're going into nursing that you are emotionally prepared, financially and physically. When I tell you, those three things are going to be key to you being successful in nursing school. So let's start with financially. So you're going into school. Nine times out of ten, you might not be able to work. For sure, for sure, just get it in your head that you will not be able to work full-time and go to school full-time as a nurse. So that's just something that you need to be aware of. There's some circumstances in which you might be able to work part-time or maybe PRN, depending on the program, if it's a full-time program or accelerated, sometimes you might still be able to do part-time or PRN, which was the case for me. It was I was able to still do part-time throughout when I was in school and you just gotta have good time management you got to have a support system to be able to support you financially, emotionally, and physically. And if you don't have that person, it's also okay, but you need to know that those are things that you need to be prepared for. And then when it comes to emotionally, guys, it's like nursing school, it's like a relationship. Like when you're dating someone, like throughout, even when you become a nurse, it's still the same thing. It's like a relationship. You get days when you're like, when you're a nursing student. You're like, oh, I'm doing really good. I feel good. Things are good. And you get days where you're just crying. For example, you have people that put time and effort into studying. They study hard, study hard, study hard, and then they take the exam, and then they realize that the grades that they ended up getting is not what they wanted because they studied so hard for it, and that can be emotionally draining, guys. When I tell you, when we used to go to exam reviews, people cry like it's a funeral because it's so frustrating when you know the materials. Like you can recite everything about that exam or that topic, but when you go to go take the exam, you don't seem to do well. And then it's because you have to know how to answer nursing questions. That's one of the most, that's the key area in being successful in nursing is, it's not just the knowledge. You need to be able to know how to answer the questions. And that's very, very important. And that's something that we'll talk about later on. And that will be a different video, but you need to know how to answer the nursing questions. So emotionally draining, like you will be emotionally drained at times. So you need that person that you're going to come home to and talk to about your day and just kind of, vent and someone that's going to be able to support you emotionally and keep reminding you why you're choosing to make the sacrifice and go on this journey to become a nurse so that's very important and then when it comes to physically it's again with nursing you're going to be physically exhausted when you're studying like you are you are doing hours and hours and hours of studying and you are going to clinicals and then there's some days where it lasts for six hours some days last for seven hours depending on how long your your how your program is set up um so you're going there from the morning and then you're not leaving until like maybe six seven hours later and then sometimes for some schools for to prepare for clinicals the next day you have to go day before and get your assignments ready read about your patients and all that stuff and then you got to go in the next day and then at the end of the day, you are super exhausted. You are so exhausted at the end of the day. So there's some people where you come home and you still got to take care of your kids because maybe they don't have support or someone to help them with the kids. For some that do, please make sure you use that support system. Someone that can make have a meal for you ready when you come home, which will be so nice. <laughs> and then someone that can be like, oh, the kids are already taken care of, whatever the case might be. And all you have to do now is get something to eat take a rest, and then get back and study. So it's just one of those things that you really, really want to be aware of. So in a nutshell, some things that you really want to pay attention to if you want to go into nursing is that, one, know yourself. <laughs> when you say know thyself, you really need to know who you are as a person to go into nursing. What are some personality traits that may fit into what what people think about when they think about, who, when they think about a nurse? 
And then secondly, do, please do not go into nursing thinking that it's easy because you're setting yourself up for failure. If you set yourself up in a way where it's going to be hard, mentally you're going to prepare yourself and you'll be willing to do the hard work to make sure you're successful. Please do not go into nursing for the money. I'm begging you. The money is nice. I'm not lying. But if you're solely going into nursing because of money, you're going to set yourself up for failure and you're going to be miserable. And I'm not lying. I've seen it. The past seven years I've been a nurse, I have seen that, to be honest with you, because there's not there's not any money in the world to, for, to compare to what you do as a nurse. So please make sure you don't go into that for, for, for solely because you want the money, okay? And last but not least is that three parts where you have to be financially, emotionally, and physically ready. Have a support system, okay? And if you don't have a support system, you can still do it. One thing that, I, if you don't take away anything out of this video is... One thing that I really want you to take out of this video, if not anything, is the fact that you can do anything that you set your mind to, as long as you're willing to put in the work, okay? And you can be successful. So I hope this video is helpful and make sure you like this video. Comment down below. Let me know if you are thinking about going into nursing, you're already a nurse. What are some things that you wish you knew before going into nursing school? Or what are some things that if you if you feel as though you're using some different tips, make sure you leave them down below. So that way some of us can learn that are that some things that I didn't mention that you're using. Make sure you leave that comment down below, okay? And thank you so much again for watching this video. Until next time, stay positive, be kind to one another, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Take care, guys.